the safest seat on a plane? It's a question that lingers in the minds of many travelers, especially those who experience even a hint of flight anxiety. Over the years, aviation experts, journalists, and even scientific studies have attempted to answer this question, analyzing real-life crash data and survival statistics to determine where passengers have the best chance of making it out alive. From the back of the aircraft to the aisle seats near exits, different factors come into play when assessing survival odds in an accident. While plane crashes are incredibly rare, understanding the patterns behind passenger survival could offer valuable insight for those who want to maximize their chances in the unlikely event of a catastrophe. Today, we take a deep dive into decades of crash research, expert opinions, and safety data to finally answer the question, what is the safest seat on a plane to survive a deadly crash? The survival advantage of sitting in the rear. One of the most persistent beliefs about aircraft safety is that the back of the plane is the safest place to be. This idea has been reinforced by multiple real-world crashes, where survivors were predominantly found in the rear sections. Two recent examples stand out, Azerbaijan Airlines Flight 8243 and Jeju Air Flight 7C2216. In both accidents, those seated at the back of the plane had the highest survival rates. In the Azerbaijan Airlines crash, all 29 survivors were located in the rear section of the aircraft, which remained relatively intact despite the plane splitting in two. Similarly, in the Jeju Air crash, the only survivors were two flight attendants seated at the very back in their jump seats. The reason for this trend lies in crash dynamics. When an aircraft crashes, the front of the plane is typically the first to absorb the impact. Pilots and first-class passengers are often at the greatest risk because the force of the crash is strongest at the nose. The middle of the aircraft, particularly over the wings, may also experience intense structural damage due to the presence of fuel tanks. Meanwhile, the back of the aircraft, though still vulnerable, tends to be more intact, increasing the likelihood of survival for those seated there. Decades of research support this notion. A comprehensive study by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, spanning from 1969 to 2013, examined the survival rates of different seating sections. The data indicated that first-class passengers had a survival rate of about 40 percent, those seated near the wings had a survival rate of 57 percent, and passengers in the rear fuselage had a survival rate of 62 percent. The last 10 rows of the aircraft offered the highest chance of survival with a 70% survival rate. A separate analysis by Time magazine in 2015 confirmed these findings. Reviewing 35 years of FAA accident data, the study found that seats in the back third of the aircraft had a 32% fatality rate, while those in the middle and front sections had higher fatality rates of 39% and 38% respectively. While no seat can guarantee survival, history has shown that those sitting towards the back of the plane tend to fare better in serious crashes. Aisle, window, or middle seat, which is safer? While the back of the plane may be statistically safer, another question remains. Does the type of seat, aisle, middle, or window impact survival odds? Research indicates that middle seats in the back of the plane are actually the safest of all. The time study found that middle seats in the rear third of the plane had the lowest fatality rate at 28% compared to 44% for aisle seats in the middle section of the plane. One explanation for this is that middle seats offer more cushioning from impact due to the passengers seated on either side. This added buffer may help absorb some of the force of a crash. Another factor that affects survival is proximity to an exit. Studies have shown that passengers sitting within five rows of an emergency exit are significantly more likely to escape a burning or damaged aircraft. This is because time is critical during evacuations. Those who can exit the plane quickly have a better chance of survival. British fire safety expert Edwin Richard Galea studied evacuation data from 105 plane crashes and conducted interviews with over 2,000 survivors. His findings revealed that a passenger's location relative to an exit was one of the strongest predictors of survival. The farther away a person was from an emergency exit, the lower their chance of escaping in time. This is particularly important in situations where fire, smoke, or flooding is involved. Aisle seats also offer an advantage in terms of quick evacuation. In narrow-body aircraft, such as Boeing 737s 
and Airbus A320s, aisle seat passengers are typically able to move faster in an emergency. Similarly, in wide-body jets, seats located between two aisles tend to offer better odds because they provide more escape routes. The randomness of survival in plane crashes. Despite the statistical patterns observed in aircraft accidents, survival can still be highly unpredictable. A crash's outcome depends on a variety of factors, including the speed of impact, terrain, angle of descent, and the extent of fire or structural damage. For example, in the 1985 Delta Airlines Flight 191 crash in Dallas, the plane came down short of the runway and broke apart upon impact. The front section, including the cockpit and first 12 rows, was completely destroyed, leaving no survivors in that portion of the aircraft. However, passengers further back had a much higher survival rate. Conversely, the 1989 United Airlines Flight 232 crash in Sioux City, Iowa, saw a different pattern. While the middle third of the aircraft experienced the most fatalities, some passengers seated in this section still survived due to the way the aircraft impacted the ground. Similarly, in the 1977 Tenerife disaster, the deadliest aviation accident in history, the 61 survivors were mostly seated toward the front of the Pan Am jet while all passengers on the KLM plane perished. These inconsistencies illustrate that while seating location can influence survival chances, external circumstances often play a larger role in determining who lives and who doesn't. The FAA's 90-second rule and evacuation safety. Another critical aspect of survival is how quickly passengers can evacuate the aircraft. The FAA has a regulation known as the 90-second rule, which requires all commercial aircraft to be capable of being fully evacuated within 90 seconds using only half of their emergency exits. This ensures that passengers can escape before fires or other hazards become deadly. To meet this standard, aircraft manufacturers conduct evacuation tests under simulated emergency conditions. These tests help ensure that modern aircraft are designed with rapid evacuation in mind, although real-world evacuations often take longer due to panic, injuries, and passengers attempting to retrieve personal belongings. To improve survival chances, aviation safety experts advise passengers to take evacuation preparedness seriously paying close attention to the safety briefing, noting the location of the nearest exit, and avoiding unnecessary delays can make all the difference in an emergency. Psychological and Behavioral Factors in Survival Survival in a plane crash isn't determined by seat placement alone. Passenger behavior and mental preparedness play crucial roles as well. Aviation safety experts have long studied how human reactions in high-stress situations influence survival rates. The field of disaster psychology reveals that in moments of extreme panic, many passengers experience what is known as normalcy bias, a cognitive phenomenon where individuals underestimate the severity of a situation and fail to act appropriately. This can cause delays in evacuation, as some passengers hesitate or even refuse to acknowledge that they are in danger. For example, in multiple aircraft accidents, survivors have reported that other passengers took precious moments to gather their personal belongings before heading for the exits. In the 2013 Asiana Airlines Flight 214 crash in San Francisco, passengers retrieving luggage significantly slowed the evacuation process. Similarly, in a 2005 Air France crash in Toronto, where all 309 passengers miraculously survived, Crew members later stated that the evacuation was hindered by people stopping to grab bags despite urgent instructions to leave everything behind. Beyond hesitation, another psychological phenomenon, the herd effect, can also influence survival. Studies have shown that in emergency situations, people tend to follow the crowd rather than thinking independently. This means passengers may attempt to exit through the doors they entered, even if a closer emergency exit is available. Safety researchers stress the importance of situational awareness, advising travelers to take note of all emergency exits when they first board a plane. Count the rows to the nearest exit and mentally prepare for the possibility of an emergency. Edwin Richard Galea's research on plane evacuations further underscores the importance of assertiveness and quick decision-making.
he found that passengers who took immediate action within the first 90 seconds of an emergency had a significantly higher chance of survival compared to those who waited for direction. In a crisis, knowing what to do and doing it fast can be just as important as where you're sitting. The Role of Aircraft Design in Passenger Survival while passenger behavior and seat location are important, aircraft manufacturers have also taken significant steps to improve overall crash survivability through engineering and safety innovations. Over the decades, airplane design has evolved to incorporate features specifically intended to increase the likelihood that passengers can survive a crash and evacuate safely. One of the most important advancements in aviation safety is crash-resistant seating. Modern aircraft seats are designed to withstand significant force with padding and structural reinforcements that help absorb impact. These seats are tested rigorously in simulated crash scenarios to ensure they can protect passengers as much as possible. The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, has established strict crashworthiness standards requiring that seats be capable of withstanding 16 times the force of gravity, 16G, to remain intact during a survivable crash. Another key aspect of safety engineering is fire prevention and control. In the past, post-crash fires were a leading cause of fatalities, even in otherwise survivable crashes. Today's aircraft are built with flame-resistant materials, self-sealing fuel tanks, and advanced fire suppression systems to reduce the risk of a fire spreading. Additionally, cabin interiors are designed with low-toxicity, slow-burning materials to give passengers more time to evacuate before smoke inhalation becomes a threat. The placement and function of emergency exits have also undergone major improvements. Regulations now require that aircraft be designed to allow for full evacuation within 90 seconds using only half of the available exits. This means that door placement, slide deployment, and lighting systems have been optimized to maximize efficiency. Floor lighting along the cabin aisles ensures that passengers can find their way to exits even in smoke-filled environments. Aircraft structural integrity is another crucial factor. The fuselage, or main body of the aircraft, is designed with crumple zones that help absorb impact energy during a crash landing, similar to how modern cars are built. This technology helps protect the passenger cabin from sustaining immediate catastrophic damage. Additionally, modern aircraft wings are built with breakaway points to reduce the risk of fuel-fed fires in the event of an accident. Advancements in avionics and automation have also contributed to higher survival rates by preventing accidents before they occur. Enhanced ground proximity, warning systems, e.g. PWS, real-time weather monitoring, and automated flight control systems help pilots avoid dangerous conditions and navigate emergency situations more effectively. Ultimately, while passengers may have some control over their survival by choosing seats strategically and preparing for emergencies, Aircraft design itself plays a major role in ensuring that as many people as possible make it out alive in the event of a crash. The combination of improved engineering, stricter safety regulations, and better passenger awareness has led to dramatic improvements in aviation safety over the years. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever chosen your seat on a plane based on safety statistics? Or do you prefer to sit where you feel most comfortable? Let us know in the comments below.